This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Uh, now, I did a video a while ago now, a few weeks ago, where I said, Basically, I'm done buying guitars. I don't want any more guitars. I've got all the guitars I want or need, and I have a kind of special love for all of the ones that, that are here. They've all sort of earned their place in the collection, as it were. So I don't want any more guitars, I said. Uh, <laughs> and then I came across a website, this website I'm going to show you today. And after about 10 or 15 minutes on that site, I was sat there thinking... I wonder how much money I could get if I sold a kidney, because this website is addictive. I promise you, if you're one of these people who are working at home at the moment, then you are going to waste so much time on here. <laughs> this is a company called Halo Guitars, and they allow you to build your own guitar online. And you can see it evolving. You can see all of the little tweaks and changes that you make taking effect on the finished instrument. And... Daily mate, it looks, um, you know, like you could kind of reach into the screen and grab it. It's not like some um, poor graphics thing. This looks really, really good. And you just find yourself thinking, I've got to have that guitar. Here's the guitar that I've got to have. Okay, then, these are our starting points from which we're going to build my dream guitar. Um, yours might be different, but I'm going to go with this uh, template here, what they're calling the Salvus style guitar, which takes a moment to load. Here it is. And they're calling it a Salvus. I think we all know what it really is based upon. And the first thing to do is to think about whether you're right handed or left handed. And it obviously it defaults, I think, to right handed. Yes, so there we go. So we'll leave that. Then let's have a look at the construction method uh, neck through, set neck, or bolt on. Um, I'm going to go with bolt on. Uh, number of strings. Well, I'm strictly a six string old school kind of guy, so we'll go with that. And no, we don't want multi scale fan frets, but let's have a look at what scale length. Yes, it's defaulted to 25 and a half inches. Um, so that's all of the kind of uh, general outline sorted out. Now, we've got the body shape here. It's already uh, taken care of there, but let's have a look at the contour of the body. Now, I don't mind um, a little kind of rib cage or tummy cut on the back of the guitar, but I do prefer the front of the guitar to be uh, left square and plank-like. I just find it's a nice little perch for my arm to sit on as I'm playing. So we're just going to choose the back contour there. Uh, the wood of the body. Um, let's go with the uh, core wood first of all. And I think we will go with mahogany. Um, then the top wood. Let's have walnut veneer. Basically, I want this to end up looking a bit like the uh, the dashboard in an old Jaguar. So we'll have the same on the back as well, a walnut veneer. Um, now, uh, colour. It's got to be anything but this uh, rather nasty purple. So let's go for the top colour. Let's have transparent brown. There we go. Back and sides. Um, again, same colour, transparent brown. And then the burst, uh, top burst, we're going to go, let's see what black red looks like. Oh, dearie me. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's just see what black looks like as a burst. Yeah, yeah, that's getting more of the kind of vibe that I want. Back burst, uh, none. Don't care about the back binding um top binding let's have a look at that uh yeah let's have cream binding around the outside and then purfling which is oh i forgot about the uh the back uh 
binding didn't i i don't want any on the back so we'll just kind of click none on there oh back binding is not available for bodies with a tummy cut okay fair enough purfling um top purfling um let's see what abalone looks like purfling is just kind of extra binding basically and no no i'm not happy with that uh you know what i'm just going to go with none there and then again on the back we'll stick with oh again not available for guitars with a tummy cut uh custom graphics no finish uh we'll go with satin and then let's have a look at the neck um i think we will go with a three-piece laminated maple neck fretboard wood what have we got here um well it's a custom order guitar so let's have bird's eye maple there we go uh fretboard radius what have we got here standard 400 millimeters approximately 16 inches yep that's perfectly fine for me that's um you know a nice flat fretboard uh the back of the neck let's just have that natural in a satin finish and frets gotta be 22 jumbo frets thank you very much inlays let's get rid of those ugly monoliths um we'll just have center dots in abalone i think oh dear me yes that's looking uh very much the thing isn't it side markers um standard and then binding i not I, I prefer no binding or purfling on the neck so i'm just going to leave those without um so let's just make sure that is ticked to none there we go and then same again here none the nut um <clears throat> we should go i think with just a graph tech white tusk nut here um just standard 43 mil that's perfectly fine headstock shape now this is where we're going to uh hopefully make the guitar look a little bit uh, less um game of thrones uh let's go with that headstock oh yeah no that works rather well on that body shape i wouldn't have thought a three aside headstock on that shape of guitar would have worked as well as that but it does angle um while well, they're recommending um a back angle on on the headstock for this style of headstock uh match body color binding and purfling that looks like it's all locked up so let's just see oh okay yeah so let's let's match the body uh color truss rod cover um am i allowed to choose none i don't think so um because well, well let's have um that one there so it's there we go that looks in keeping that i'm not really um the truss rod cover you know it's just something that to take off and lose usually isn't it um hardware color uh chrome i think gold looks good until it starts to wear off and then it looks awful um the bridge uh what we got here oh that'll do hip shot fixed bridge thank you very much uh tuners non-locking um i i've never had a a particular problem with non-locking tuners uh pit guard i think you know where i'm going with this if you know me there we go uh tortoise shell pickups uh passive pickups let's look at the bridge pickup here i want a humbucker in the bridge position so what have we got there's all of their brand pickups and seymour duncan jeff beck Seymour Duncan Seth Lover, what's what's going to be like a, a good old school PAF style pickup. Uh let's try that in a cream pickup surround. No, no, let's not. Um This is what I love about this. You can just go in and you can tweak it and you can make decisions and just see how it's gonna look. Um so there we go. And there's the pickup and I want it without a surround. Oh, that looks better. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, let's see what else we've got here. Passive pickups, middle position, remove pickup. And then we're into a twin pickup guitar. And then let's have a look at the neck position pickup. Uh, single coil, I think, for the neck. What we got here? 
Um, oh, Seymour Duncan quarter pounder. Yeah, that's a lovely telly neck pickup. Uh, hardware colour. Uh, oh, we've done that, haven't we? Um, control pattern. Uh, one volume, one tone, and one three way switch. That's perfect. And switch cap. I think for this style of guitar, it has to be black, doesn't it? Um, I guess we'll need a case to go with it. So we'll tick yes for that. Uh, chambered body, no. Strap locks, no, because I just use those little rubber things off the top of a Grolsch bottle. Kill switch, no. Coil split, yeah, let's have this uh, in. There we go. Locking output jack, your signature on head for... Oh, no. We will have stainless steel frets, though, I think. And there it is. There is the Johnny Caster. That is um, pretty close to being my uh, ultimate guitar this week. That's uh, definitely, you know, whether I've got uh, two and a half grand to spend on it at the moment is, uh, is anybody's guess. Let's have a look and see what the back view looks like. Do you to me, but that even looks good from the back, doesn't it? And you see what I mean about looking like the dashboard on an old Jag, like on an old Mark II or something like that. It um, It's very much my cup of tea, that. Yes, as I say, two and a half grand for um, any single guitar is a bit of a tall order, but there is, you know, plenty of choice in this. And let's not forget that this is still less than you'd pay for some off-the-peg guitars. So there you go. Make of it what you will, but that is, at the moment, what I would consider to be my dream guitar. I told you, didn't I? It's addictive, that site. You will design an entire collection of guitars, no doubt. And, um, you know, you it's, I mean, it's pricey, yes, but as I said in that little clip there, you know, you think of the cost of um, an off-the-shelf Sir or Tom Anderson or PRS, you know, and it kind of makes something like that that's bespoke to your own needs um, seem a little bit more reasonable in the grand scheme of things. I'll just have to convince the wife of that now. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, folks. I just thought I'd share that one with you. I've linked to uh, the Halo Guitars website down in the description below if you fancy, um, you know, losing an afternoon like I have <laughs> working on uh, various designs. Uh, don't forget the 5 pm live stream on Friday, 5 o'clock UK time. Uh, we have a beer and a chat and a laugh. It's a great way of kicking off the weekend. Um, also, you can support a good cause by uh, buying one of these t shirts. By by a guy called Pete, a regular viewer to this channel, who did this little caricature of me um, just because he enjoys the channel. So I put it on a t-shirt, and all the proceeds that I would normally receive from the sale of these shirts will go straight to Zoe's Place Baby Hospice, which, I'm, as I'm sure you know by now, is a charity in Middlesbrough that does a lot of great work with very, very seriously ill kids. Um, what else? Oh, yes, uh, Pete's link is in the description below as well if you want to contact him and maybe commission some artwork off him. And um, if you're thinking of buying a Fret Zealot tuition aid, then use the discount code you can see on screen to get a little bit of money knocked off the purchase link is also in the description as well and that's all i've got for you today folks hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and give me a like while you're at it and that's that's all i've got for you so i'll wish you a good day and say thank you for watching and uh, stay well stay safe and above all stay sane see you next time folks bye for now <laughs>